everybody, welcome to Herc's Train Shed, and I'm Kyle, I'm Corey, and today we're rebuilding an abandoned model railroad here at the SNS Short Line Rail Park. Now we're going to follow Corey into the building, so. Alrighty, let's go. And... We're going to go ahead and take a look here at the yard. It, we've got seven siding tracks that can hold quite a few trains here, and there's a little bit more up there. Um, as you can see, it's pretty full, plenty of trains. But Corey knows a little bit more about what is needed in this section. So Corey, do you want to give us a little bit about what's going on and what needs to be fixed in this area of the layout? Of course. So the first thing is rewiring. So the first thing we did on the yard is we're rewiring it now. Uh, we got to replace a whole bunch of these toggle switches here and just the main thing is we got to rewire the whole it or the whole yard and Clean it up a little bit make it run a little bit better. We've also switched some things around added some track and My friend Aaron who's been off camera working on this really hard has been doing a really good job at working on this for us um, Yeah, hasn't he been doing a lot of the wiring and getting a lot of it kind of back of into working order so, from my understanding, when I was here a few days ago, we had gotten most of the yard rewired. Um, sadly, we can't show that to you guys. And we got we got a few other things, like over here, um, we'll probably add a few more tracks over here, just for a cooling tower and a water tower. And we just got to still rewire this whole side. We also got to replace the side skirt. And then... Yeah, so there's quite a bit that needs to be done in the area. Uh, look, this side skirt here that he just mentioned has gotten pretty faded. Um, but let's kind of move on to the next section of the layout here. Right over here is the last little area my grandfather was working on before he passed away. He was building a bit of a cityscape here. Um, the condition of the track in this particular the area layout is doing a little bit better than most. Nothing really derails and there's been no conductivity problems. Um, in the future, we're really hoping to finish the city and kind of, you know, bring it to life like he was hoping to. This next little village is one of my favorite places on the layout. It was built by my grandfather, Corey and I, in the year 2005. Most of these buildings are laser cut kits that have been either painted or soaked and dyed to kind of give them this nice wooden look. This area, we don't really have too many plans to change, but we've thought about maybe adding some static grass and things like that. As we move around the layout, we come into the inner portion of it. Right over here, we have a nice little farm village that was built by my grandfather and I. As for most of the yard tracks here, um, we'll turn again to Corey to kind of give us a bit of an update. You know, right off the bat, we've got four mains here. So, the first thing on the big yard is it's been rewired. Uh, so we upgraded the layout to a DCS system, and so we had to rewire the whole layout to fix that issue. As the old wire under the layout was getting very old and it just was not doing very well. So we were not getting a lot of power, we were only getting 12 volts. Now we're running 24 volts, which is awesome. Um, the biggest thing that we've been changing is the switches. So hopefully in a few weeks we're going to get the switches on this side of the layout fixed. And uh, if he'll pan over there to show you guys the switches I'm talking about. But we gotta replace those switches there with some 0100s. And then, but then that, that side of the yard is done. It does need some ballasting work. That's the biggest thing that we've been focusing on also is ballast work. Then another issue we've come, come along is that we've had a lot of rust on the track, oxidization. And the biggest area that's had that issue is this top track here. So what we want to do, like he was saying over on the village that was built in 2005, is just a lot of this track is really, really old. Um, a lot of it has rusted away and stuff like that, and it's just not getting very good conductivity, which is really sad because this is a really good running loop up here. So as we keep moving around the layout here, as he mentioned, we have the top loop here. Um, Scenic-wise, it was probably the most complete, but if you look at most of the buildings here, many of them have kind of warped, faded from this window and letting the sun in through the side. So a lot of that needs to be replaced as well. 
there are a couple, you know, other things like the road where a leak in the roof up over here has leaked down onto the layout over time and kind of, you know, messed a couple of things up there. Um, over throughout here, we just kind of continue the farm scene. We've got some nice little cows, some tractors, tunnel running or road running into a tunnel in the background there that kind of loops around back. This is one of the more interesting sections of the layout. There is a cross right over here where the inner loop on the bottom section of the layout can cross over. There is another bridge here in the section for the middle loop and a nice large trush and girder bridge here for the final and top loop. Um, is there anything in this area that we need to really work on, Cora, or is this one pretty good? So this one, the only issue I've noticed is the fences. Um, so when we redid the track for this new area that we've been working on, which we'll get to in a minute, guys, is that the engine, we had an engine hit a house and then take out the fence. Oh, whoops. So uh, we got to replace that, but that's easy to fix. Fences are easy to build, and I'll do that as an at-home video to show you guys how we build fences. Cool. Sweet. Sounds good. And then as we keep moving on, this is another section of the layout that kind of heads home for me. This part was originally built by my third grade class in elementary school back in the year 2003. The sign's kind of faded, but does it show up very well on camera? Built in 2003. Yeah. December 17th of 2003. But like the other buildings in the other corner we just saw, many of these have started to fade. Peel. Peel. You know, just otherwise, just they really need to be replaced and redone in some fashion. Since we're already over here on this side of the layout, this is where the outer loops or the bottom loops come out of the tunnel. This is just the backside view of that crossover. This entire side of the layout has remained, has no scenic value to it at all right now. But this is one of the areas we hope to add another cityscape in the future. And we look forward to doing on a video for you guys as well. Now, to swing him back on around here. Corey was mentioning there was a new area that we recently added. We've added this witch here along with another track along the main line that was not originally part of the layout that is running back into a couple of more sightings that'll be used for more car storage for the future right now. But we hope to turn this into some sort of cooling and mountainous industrial area of some sort here. So as we mentioned, the layout does run and it includes four loops. The first loop we have here is our upper loop. This loop here is just one big oval that runs the whole length of the layout and then loops right around back. So we'll come right back on over to the starting point over here. The second loop is roughly nine inches below the top loop and it follows in the same path. It's just the second loop that's just a little bit lower. The two top loops are the most simple. There's no switches or anything. They're just simple large loops of track. So something else you guys may have noticed in the background here is there's these shelves with a lot of older trains. These were donated by my grandpa to the local building here to basically just show them off and put them on display for the public. Unfortunately, if you look at the top shelf in the upper left, you can kind of see where the water is leaked down. It's broken that shelf, so that's one of the other things we're going to have to get up there and fix before these go tumbling down. But there are quite a few different trains on here that are really interesting. One of my favorites is this Challenger type Rio Grande locomotive that my grandfather built. He took two locomotives, cut them in half, and then pretty much soldered them together and made a train out of it. And that's really why it's one of my favorites. Some more notable engines is we've got the Williams 1985 first brand engine they produced. There's some Lionel 027 from the year 1947. A lot of old, early Lionel up here. It's definitely one of his favorites that he collected in his lifetime. Yeah, it's definitely one of my favorite parts of the layout. If you guys would be interested in knowing more about these or maybe us doing a video on it, let us know in the comments down below. 
Some other areas that need work on this side is, like we've mentioned before, we've had that nasty leak that's had water coming through the ceiling over the last couple of years. It's really kind of taken its toll on some of the framework. If we look at this like stud here, we can see that the water's really damaged a lot of the wood and some of these are going to have to be replaced. So that's definitely something that's going to be a little bit higher on our priority list so that this doesn't, you know, break or anything like that in the meantime. Some other issues with the layout is the wiring is just an absolute mess. I mean, you can see that there's just wires dangling everywhere under here. Also, it looks like it could use a bit of a good clean out. But yeah, that's another thing that we're definitely going to have to work on is getting some of this wiring sorted out. We hope you enjoyed today's video and you learned a little bit about what we hope to do. Go ahead and leave a comment in the comments below about what you'd like to see us do first or what you're most excited to see more about the layout as it progresses in the future. Don't forget to subscribe and drop a like on today's video. We'll see you next time.